Hey guys, today we have a really special person here. This is Dr. Card, and um, she comes and takes care of all of our animals for us. Um, she is here to help Kimosabi today because his teeth are way too long, and so she's going to come and trim off his teeth. Thank you, Dr. Card. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun to come and see all the different animals. Yeah, we have a, a nice collection. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, I woke you up. Come on down. I know. I know. So the best uh, procedure that we found with Kimosabi is that we're going to go and get him calmly into his crate. Um, and then Dr. Card is going to inject him with an immobilizer and a, a sedative so that we can safely and uh, easily Dremel his teeth down. So right now you're seeing us, we're gonna put him in the crate and we're lifting the crate up so that we can get his thigh close enough to the side so that we can get an easy access to his muscle and we're going to give him his injection. And now we're going to cover him up so that he gets nice and drowsy in a calm fashion and he's going to just relax into that sedative and immobilizer and um, he won't fight through it. Sometimes if they get too riled up, their uh, adrenaline can actually overpower the medication. So we're just going to keep him nice and comfortable under a towel. We're looking at Ash the Chinchilla right now and Ash has been having um, some struggles with some respiratory infections and some eye infections as well and we've been taking him into the vet and found that he has had overgrown molars his top left molars are overgrowing so we've been working with Dr. Card to try and figure out how we're going to um, manage Ash's condition he's way better than he was so do you think we got ahead of it I think so do you think we'll need to go in for another exam I mean should we should we do it preemptively? We should. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll schedule an appointment and just see where it's at. Yeah. Um, when do you think he'd be ready to do shows again? We haven't done anything with him. Let's take a look at his mouth. Okay. And then. And uh, see. And see. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then I want you to look at Pearl's. There's a baton under this towel, just so you know. Oh, thank you. Oh, that, looks fantastic. that looks so nice. That looks fantastic. Her tongue is still crooked. Yeah, well. Will it always be like that, you think? It may always be like that. But that looks great. She had an infection um, in her mouth, uh, actually in the bone of her jaw. Um, uh, it was started out over on this side. It was right in here. And then it moved over to this side and um, was just a, a nasty osteomyelitis in her jaw, which there's no evidence of it at the moment, mm -hmm. which is good. Yeah. <laughs> good girl, Pearl. Um, and can you check Joy's beak? Yeah. It's really long, but I want, you, I want to see if it's, it's too long. We were concerned that Joy's beak was too overgrown, so we asked Dr. Card her opinion, and she agreed that it has grown too much. And so she wants to file it down just so it doesn't grow too far, and it, the problems with that are going to be difficulty eating, and then also it can grow all the way down into the neck, and, and that would obviously be a bad thing. Now on the floor, I have a towel just for you. So the way that we're going to restrain Joy, we're not going to use any kind of immobilizer or anything like we did on Kimosabi. Instead, we're just going to use a towel and that's going to help cover her body and restrain her wings. And then we're going to restrain her cheeks so that she can't bite herself, the towel, or us. Okay. Okay. Ah. Ah. She did do really good. Good girl. Are you ready? 
little sleepy bear. Okay. All right, Kimosabi is nice and sedated right now, and um, he's breathing good. We gave him the proper amount of, of sedative and immobilizer, and he's doing great. We're gonna lift him up onto this table, and now we're going to examine his teeth and see how much growth that they have accumulated in the last three months. So you can see Dr. Card is now, she's filing down, she's using a Dremel, and she's going to find the placement where she's going to Dremel the teeth so that they're short enough, but not too short. And so you can see some of the dust from his teeth going up in the air. And now we're done, and um, we're gonna trim his nails just to make sure they're all, they're all at the right size. Now he's gonna go back in his crate and He's going to just relax in there until the medications wear off and then he'll slowly wake up and we'll let him go back home. You can hear him complaining a little bit. <laughs> He's already starting to wake up a little bit. Yeah. Don't mash your nose. All right. Go bud. Get all cozy in there, right? All right, <laughs> sleep tight, buddy. See you in a couple hours. Well, thank you so much for coming <laughs> and helping out, and um, we'll see you in three months again. Or chemo, we'll see you in three months again. Okay. Here's teeth. Thank you. It went really great today. It did. Oh, so happy. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It is time for our first Ask Jesse. You've asked questions. Now I'm gonna answer them. Patches wants to know the answers too. Okay, sleep well. <laughs>